I love blowguns and their silent deadliness, but attach a bicycle pump with an explosive release valve and you have something slightly less silent but a lot more deadly. This video will demonstrate how, with the right components, you can build your own air gun in an afternoon. This great device consists of three basic components, a blowgun of your choice, a bike pump, an explosive air release valve. Whether it's corks, spitballs, BBs or darts, it's pretty simple to attach the blowgun of your choice to this air gun after it's built. Not just any bicycle pump will do, the ideal pump will have a valve inside that doesn't allow the compressed air to go backwards. My choice was a Triple B Air Shock pump, which I bought from a sports store in the bikes section. It's designed for pumping up fork shocks on mountain bikes. There's a one-way valve inside and a sweet looking pressure gauge. This pump permits the building and reading of pressure to be released into the blowgun. If you can use a trigger valve from an airbrush or something similar, then you've taken care of step three. For me though, most of the work lay in making the explosive air release valve, which I designed and built myself. Tools you'll need are hand drill, file, blade, precision screwdriver, pliers, hand clamp, and super glue. Extra materials you'll need are a flexible bike pump hose, one millimeter metal tubing from a pack of assorted brass and aluminium tubes from hobby stores, one or two tiny O-rings, I bought a pack of 250 assorted at a hardware store, Small spring, again from a pack of assorted you can get at hardware stores, and a tiny screw, you'll see. First you'll need to cut out the male connector from the flexible bike pump hose. This will be the main housing of the XR valve. Now find a piece of metal tubing that fits perfectly inside. It should be a snug fit while still gliding smoothly. With the tiniest drill bit you can find, drill holes into the tubing a few millimetres from the end. I suggest clamping the tubing to the workbench. It's a fiddly pain in the ass otherwise. File it smooth. It's crucial that this tube glides through the valve effortlessly. Find a tiny screw that fits into the end of the tube. Its head should be slightly larger than the tube. It must also be very short so it can't be seen through the holes. If your screw's a bit loose, try delicately clamping the tube with pliers. Now put a drop of superglue on the screw and turn it in. Wait for the superglue to dry then scrape off any excess with a blade. Again we want this to be clean and able to glide smoothly. This valve will be spring-loaded, so find a washer, nut or bush of some kind that you can glue about halfway along the tube. After this step, your valve will be difficult to disassemble, so be sure everything's in place before you apply the glue. Now find a spring that's a bit longer than the distance between the nut and the valve housing. Clip the spring onto the tube and twist it so that it winds itself onto the tube. Make the valve airtight by adding an o-ring or two. Here you can see why the size of the screw head was important. You can now test this valve by attaching it to the bike pump. It'll just screw into the female connector. To test that it's airtight, build a small amount of pressure with just one or two plunges of the pump. If you've been careful to keep the tube clean and smooth, it shouldn't allow any air through. Thanks to the one-way valve inside the pump, the air is now being compressed inside the pump's hose. It's a tiny tank of compressed air. Now pull back on the valve. The air will explode from the tip. <coughs> so you have an unlimited supply of compressed air at your fingertips. What are you going to do with it? If I were you, I'd attach a blowgun to the device in whatever creative way works best. On mine, I drilled a couple of holes in a block of wood so that the barrel fits cosily alongside the pump. I also added a plastic ring to the valve that helps me grip and pull it back to release the air. The ammo you use will depend on your type of blowgun, but mine is a simple piece of carbon fibre tubing and the ammo is 2mm lead shot from 12 gauge shotgun cartridges. My target is a cardboard box with a metal plate in the back and an old doorbell inside. You might like to use a bicycle bell, it's not like anyone actually uses them on their bikes. The bell inside is just a nice touch that not only stops your bullet, but also rewards you with a ding! when you hit the mark. And you know what I love? When stuff just fits. This laser pointer I had in the bottom of a drawer snaps beautifully into the hose tidy that came with a pump. Safety first. When building and testing this air gun, use caution. Wear safety goggles, gloves, earmuffs and a pretty red scarf. Never fire your air gun at pets, babies, family members or the police. Have fun and don't get arrested. 